I'm E. Lockhart, author of Genuine Fraud. Genuine Fraud is a novel about two young women who look enough alike to share a passport. Their friendship is very intense, it becomes toxic and even violent. It is a story about identity and the American dream. It's about social class. It is full of beautiful international locations and blood and weights. I have some questions from readers on Twitter that I'd like to answer. Books and Skittles writes, I would love to know E. Lockhart's favorite lines from one of her own books. That is kind of an embarrassing question to answer. <laughs> but one line that I've been thinking about a lot that Hotkey, my publisher in the UK, has used uh, for promoting genuine fraud is don't tell me to ask rational. Ellie Sparks asks, what inspired you to start writing? I was raised in a communal household and that meant that my mom and I lived together with a lot of strangers. And it wasn't frightening, but it was very um, unstable. And the people who were sitting at our dinner table were different from week to week and month to month. So I very often didn't even know their names. And that is what made me into a reader and by extension, a writer. I wrote to create my own worlds that I could live in that would be the same every time um, I visited them. Diana Passy asked, what happened to Frankie at the end of the disreputable history of Frankie Landau Banks? That's an earlier novel of mine, and Frankie is a heroine that a lot of people would like to hear more about, but I don't have any more of Frankie's story to tell you. I think you have to write it for yourself. Um, she represents to me a young woman who is justifiably angry and unaccepting of the status quo. And I think she will continue to be just that. Mia Lofthouse writes, how do you deal with writer's block? And the answer is that I just write. I write something very stupid if that's all I can write. I jump ahead in the story if that's all I can write. I write a description of something that seems almost unimportant if that's all I can write. In We Were Liars one week, I found that I could not write my story. I could only write fairy tales that seemed loosely connected to my story. And I eventually put all those fairy tales into the novel in different places. So I just force myself to write um, and sometimes it comes out good and sometimes it's stupid and I cut it later, but writing is better than not writing. Mia Lofthouse also asked, who is your inspiration? And I get most of my inspiration from reading other novels. For Genuine Fraud, one of my biggest inspirations was The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. But once I started looking at Highsmith's novel and thinking about how I might want to use that story architecture to tell a story about a young woman instead of a story about a young man, um, I very quickly realized that I was also thinking about a whole group of Victorian um, orphan stories of social class mobility that I had read and studied in graduate school, such as Vanity Fair and Great Expectations, Jane Eyre, and the like. And that I was also thinking about superhero origin stories, specifically Spider-Man and The Incredible Hulk, people who go from um, being a nobody to being an all-powerful um, entity and what that does to their lives and to their senses of themselves. Um, I'm always interested in the superheroes who have a lot of uh, darkness in them as well as uh, power. So I take my inspiration from a, a wide range of sources for almost every book. Rose Mannering asked, where do you like to write and do you have any things that you need? The answer is I write anywhere and I just need my laptop. I don't attach myself to any rituals. I write in airports, I write on trains, I write in cafes, I write early in the morning, I write late at night, I write whenever I can catch the time. Eleanor R.D. asked, which of my characters from all my books has been my favorite to write? And definitely the answer to that is Ruby Oliver from The Boyfriend List. There's four books about her because I could not let her go. Uh, and she, is a character who has uh, a pretty ordinary high school life, but a very unusual brain. And I loved exaggerating the parts of my own mind uh, to become the character of Ruby. That said, I don't write about her anymore, and I get attached to all my characters as I'm writing them. In Genuine Fraud, uh, 
uh, Jewel West Williams, the protagonist, represents a lot of the darkest parts of myself, the ugliest parts of my personality um, come out in her. And I'm very pleased that I was able to get that on the page. Nico London 1985 asked, how do you pick your characters' names? And the answer to that is that I use baby naming websites. <laughs> and they are an amazing tool if you are a writer because you can look up names by all kinds of influences. You can look up flower names, you can look up magical names, you can look up traditional names, preppy names, you can look up names from all different kinds of ethnic backgrounds, um, you can look up religious names. Uh, so if you are looking to name a character in something that feels resonant or that uh, suggests you know their family background in whatever way, um, they're a really great and really fun resource. And I switch the names of my characters out over and over during the course of writing a novel until I get one that really feels right. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. They were fun to answer. Genuine Fraud is out now in hardcover.